Arthur Munoz shot 66 yesterday. Here's her second of the 18. Eighteen, uh, just her ninth hole of the day. We'll take her to six under par. The veteran Marina Alex, third shot at the par five six. More than one way to make an eagle, Judy. Like that. That's one way to do it. Hey. <laughs> Marina Alex, go for make it six under par. She's one of the best players in the world. Now Lexi Thompson, third at the seventeenth. So she should make birdie, get it to three under par. At the 18th, Jarvi Boonchant for birdie. Okay. She might have good vibes from this week. It was a year ago that she won the Epson Tour Championship, which is going on this weekend. A little bit into the wind off the right. Certainly sounded good. Sounded like a really solid strike. Judy two under at the moment, tied for 13th here late on a Friday. At last look, a um, possible cut would be at the plus two number, but I think we're pretty early in the day to project that. And murmuring. Uh -huh. I think she's got to carry it at least 151 to get to the wider part of this green. Yep. That'll trickle on. Four's tough, Paige. Yep. One of the longer part fours, but uh, traditionally hasn't been the most difficult. Obviously, when the wind switches here. Right of it again today, but the wind is off the right from this angle with a little bit of help too. All right, well, some 35 yard difference in the two shots. Let's see if it makes a difference for the length of third shot. Which makes it difficult. Now Lexi with her second at the first. Stay there, can just drift off the green, but it's going to be fine. Well, looks good from our angle. 10, Alex. You stick it a good lie, no problem here in that rough. 114 to the flag. Greens are starting to firm up just a little bit, though. With this wind. Practice rounds, the golf course was very hey, firm and fast, out. and then before the first round, there was heavy yeah. rain. Yesterday, it was ball in hand, lift clean in place. This is Leona Maguire from just off the green at the par three. And that is a really good effort, so it should be a par for Maguire. She's going to remain. Yeah, it turned out to be a good lead, just slightly downhill lie out of this rough. Oh, but she got some spin. Very nice. It's a good shot, but I think she thought it might even be better. Shockingly, she's only made one eagle this year. Yeah, but she may not need a putter. This is one of those that looks really, really kind. Just got to get it on the green to get it going. I didn't fly it. Did not come out the way that she was expecting. It's 400 from 183. Wind is a little bit off the right, but there's a little hurt in this as well. Plays uphill. Fourth is a tough one. Over at the eighth, Ata Munoz. This is her 17th hole of the day, out first in the afternoon way. Yeah, it's an uphill short shot. Uh, she keeps the ball just about hole high. Just a couple steps closer, 168 yards to this hole. Back into the breeze. That's not a good line. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. 
Tom mentioned she's leading the race to the CME Globe, also leading the race to Costa del Sol. The season this year is going to be at Las Brisas. We were just at the Costa we del Sol. We were just there. In fact, we dined at the golf course next door to Las Brisas, where they're going to play their final event. That's the week of Thanksgiving. Tom always takes us to the best places. Having good, solid contact on this out of the dry Bermuda. That came out nice. Oh, wow. Oh. Good about saving par nearly. Now, this is a very awkward um, green, so Marina really uh, put her second shot in a great spot where she could just look right up the throat of the green. Good shot. Uh, it's not, she's not going to have to fight the grass. It's not growing against her, but it's not going to help her either. Couldn't see it at all, actually. Nah, she has 135, so it's only a short time, which does help. And she oh, does run it up. Oh, wow. It's still running. Uh, you're not going to see a better shot than that from the fairway today. Mm -mm. Over the sixth again, this is Boutier. Yeah, key here is just solid contact, but that was too solid. And this from 96 yards, there is more wind into her from, from this angle on the fairway, far left to the middle of the green flag. So it should get some stop on it. Flag sitting up on that high level, that's right on the edge there, and it might just wander back. It's tucked back here. It takes quite a bit of courage to try to get all the way back. What Lexi has remaining is moving from her right to left. I think it's more severe where she's standing than at the hole. Oh, oh yes. Oh, nicely done. Oh, kind of bounces back after leaving that putt right in the jaws on the previous hole. So Lexi in the mix here. Just a moment ago at the 18th, Sweden's Frida Schenholt. No, oh, she comes in number 103. Anything just shy of this hole, a pin high would be great. the scores and the pairings in the morning there are some names that have come up that leaderboard in Celine Boudier and Lexi Thompson uh, that might give her some pause she knows she's got her work cut out for her oh yeah she does dunk it and Lexi moves to six under par Saw Frida Schinholt hit it tight at the 18th. She tapped it in for birdie. This is Creamer has got to make birdie here to have a chance. She just might, and she just might do it. So Paula Creamer with that. Face of the leaderboard has really changed in the last hour. This is a new pro. Lauren Miller. Looking good. Wonderful shot. And she will tap that in for a birdie. Boy, Paige, and I know you know, but uh, if you get more loft in your hand downwind, it sure makes it a lot easier. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, it's been unlucky that didn't bound on. No, this is 75 yards, but the wind is quite gusty right now into her. This flag on this front portion of the green is quite slopey from back to front here. Oh, is it going to stay? Yeah, it's, it, it's steep at the front there. It looks like it, and uh, she gave it a pretty good wrap. That's here, isn't it? And there's no brown jug. No little brown jug. No, no. What do they play for in that one? Bragging rights, uh, and it yeah. is intense. Nicely done. Yeah, you might say Dallas will be...